I'm Klaus Oldenburg. I'm here to make a few comments about the, uh, the work called the Ice Bag, and this is the 12-footer, and uh, the third one made in a series some years ago. It's, it's a little bit out of date, the Ice Bag. Like many of the objects that uh, uh, I've used, I guess my familiarity with Ice Bags goes back to probably uh, college when I was curing hangovers and stuff like that. And so that would be uh, 1950. I wanted to make the movement um, uh, very limited. I, I wanted to make it something like a low-level creature that didn't do very much. It twists one way, then another way, and then it inflates when the air is pumped into it, and then it deflates. So it relaxes, it pumps up, and it turns. It's a pleasure, I think, to watch this simple movement in what you ordinarily think of as something that doesn't move. When you look at it from the outside, you don't see all the, the little things that are making it work. It's sort of like a human being in that respect. Of course, when you make something soft, you, you do associate it with, uh, with the flesh. The ice bag is accustomed to being connected to the flesh by being put on the head and so on, or on any part of the body. So it definitely has a relationship to that. I think that when it's in its movement, it gives a, an uncanny sense of being alive. And uh, that makes you almost dizzy because you know it's not alive, and yet it certainly looks alive. And uh, that is part of its, uh, its magic effect.